got a fucking sweet treat for you guys today. Today we'll be looking at the Daisy Model 12. This is uh, the KG9 pump action and uh, uh, standard cocking uh, Daisy pistol made by Maruzin in Japan. Uh, I'll bring you closer to the box and stuff very briefly, but uh, for now, uh oh, the styrofoam is collapsing. Um, I want to give a brief warning though. Um, if anybody reiterates something I say in this video that I almost said verbatim, just something that like anybody would know or be able to guess watching this video, I'm going to respond to you and then I'm going to delete your comment because it's getting really annoying at this point. Anyway, moving on. Um, we have two targets. I'll show you these guys briefly again. Then we have... KG9 box. Okay. So now I'm going to bring you guys closer to it. Here it is. Okay. Now I'll bring you along. <coughs> there we go. Then here appear to be just some basic artwork for the gun. And then here's the UPC code in case you'd like that. Okay, moving along. Uh, left side of the box. This is stock number 1012. So everything's here. There's two styrofoam inserts that would have gone uh, inside the, the box to protect the gun. There would have been 10 shells here, and I'll have the part number in the description. The, uh, the shells are different from gun to gun, some of them are compatible. And then came with 12 of these uh, .12 gram BBs, which I believe I... No, these are the original. These actually aren't even open, I think. This was a brand new unit when I got it, by the way. And uh, I, I would not have touched these BBs, but they suck. I've used these guys before, and they suck. Okay. Moving on, this magazine. This, these magazines are fucking awesome. Let me show you this. They're steel. And then came in a plastic bag. Dump it out. Okay, here's a view on the magazine. Awesome quality construction. Looks just like a real one, right? And then here are the shells that it takes. These have an O-ring on the inside, and then you put the pellet in from the front. And this guy holds uh, 30 shells. I only have about 20, but I managed to cobble together some different shells that fit in here. And I have divinated that it holds 30. And you'd load it. Let me demonstrate that for you right now. You'd load it. God damn it. You'd load it by just pushing in the BB. Just It's just like loading a real gun, right? And then this is a double stack magazine. This is not compatible with the uh, shell ejecting Uzi that I reviewed. Uh, a couple days ago. I tried that, didn't work. Okay, moving on. We at last have the KG9 itself, the uh, Model 12. So this is built very similar to the uh, very shitty um, Chinese clones and then the Academy Plastic Model clones. Um, except this one is just worlds, planets above in quality than the other one. Okay, here are the markings on the gun. Detailed replica. This is a two-piece clamshell plastic body, although some components are um, held together in one piece. Seal sling hook in the back here, very nice touch. Metal trigger, metal uh, magazine catch. This is a very thick plastic eye handle. It has a fixed front sight and then has a metal inner barrel. And then coming to this side here, here are the markings. This is a serial number. Mine is, uh... Can't quite make that out. Sorry about that. What is that? Let me read that off to you. I'm not sure. C71. It's, uh, or is that... Is that a C or a zero? C71. Okay, and then there are the screws on this side. Like I said, two-piece uh, ABS body. Here's the safety, which you have to press the switch down in order to deactivate. And then, 
that's going to go to a red light. Again, two piece clamshell body. Here's some markings on the top here. God damn it. There we go. I think I, think I got the angle there. Hopefully, you guys can read that. Okay, here's the back. Uh, this one does not have the folding stock like their gas, uh, Marusin's gas pullback version. And then here are the sights. You know, just your fixed, non adjustable uh, blade and the notch rear. Okay. So we've got a thoughtful manual here. It's uh, definitely much bigger than the Uzi one I got. The Uzi one only looks about four pages, and then this one uh, is a bit bigger. Okay. Has a warranty, uh, some warnings about ammunition, note to parents about not letting your kid take it to school. Okay, and then here, here's something important. These are the statistics that it's claimed. So right on there, you'll see, uh, what does it say, 16 or older? This is definitely a very old gun. Um, 220 FPS. This gun shoots uh, about 315 with a .12. Um, so about, I'd say 250 or 260 with a .20 gram BB. And so, I mean, they, they did the right thing and they advertised it lower than what you could actually get just to compensate for... Uh, um, in case like the gun ages really bad or you get like a faulty unit. There's a typo on here and it says 22 caliber 6 millimeter. These are 0.25, I believe 0.25, or uh, yeah, 0.24 or, 2 point, or 0.25 uh, ammo. That That's what Daisy's got marked on their later guns. So that's all for that and then now I'm going to finally bring you to the gun. Alright, so I'm finally going to go ahead and show you guys this gun operating. So. You're going to load your pellets in from the front, uh, put the magazine in, just like that, and then you would pull on this cocking handle, which you can actually, this whole fucking cocking handle is steel. It's awesome. And then pull back on it. Here, let me show you the pump first. You can pump it or you can pull back on it. I've already cocked the gun back, so it just, it's it stovepiped. As you can see here, I forgot it was loaded. And then you could actually lock the bolt back, which is just, I'll show you guys in a second, it's fucking sick. Okay, let me just get these BB or, uh, shells straightened out. This is a shell ejecting gun. Okay, and then if you have the bolt cocked back, what you can do at that point is just uh, push your handle forward. Actually, you don't even have to do that. And just slap it down. Sweet. Okay, and then again, fixed sights. There is no hop up on this gun, so the range is really disappointing. Uh, whatever range statistic that was, like 68 meters in the box, probably if you like tilt the gun like all the way fucking up with a point twelve, right? Very, very heavy trigger, unfortunately. Oh, I have the safety on. So I mean, you, you can really feel that that zinc alloy bolt moving, and the uh, piston. The piston on these is actually it's it's entirely metal. It's fucking crazy. And then you would cock the gun back, and then the chamber would open up, and then the shell would jump out at you. I'll show you that again. And then uh, it would jam on you. So, let me load a BB in here. I don't have the facilities for a range test, but, um, you know, considering the trigger and then the uh, lack of hop-up, uh, .20s, you can't adjust the sights with these guys, so they're just going to drop. It's a powerful gun, so it's not like the worst performer as far as range goes, but then, you know, you get to the trigger and then it's just a, it's a super long trigger pull. So, it's uh, really just undesirable, um, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, very limited performer, definitely just a plinker. Okay.
In fact, I'm so on. Okay, hello, K target. Uh, 11 and a half feet away. Hmm. Interesting. So there are metal components all the way around inside. All this bolt stuff here is made of either steel or die cast zinc. Don't have to worry about it breaking. It's all very thick. And uh, just a, a terrifically satisfying gun to use. I love it. I love it. I'll never part with it. I'll pass it on to the kids I never have. Uh, so... I think that's really all I have about this gun. I've showed you everything so far. Um, God, if you can get one of these and you can find extra shells that aren't like $50 a pack for $10, um, God, don't even think twice. Just buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Um, even if it's just good for a planker, it's just, it's, it's phenomenal fun to use. This is probably one of the funnest guns that I own in the spring category and I would never sell this for any price. So that's what I have about this gun. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope, I hope you guys really enjoyed looking at this uh, very awesome vintage piece.